Welcome to question number two. In this question, for five marks, you're asked to integrate this expression, 3x squared plus 5 plus 4x squared, with respect to x, between 1 and 2. OK, so if you'd like to give this a go, just pause the video, come back when ready, and see if you've got the right answer. If, on the other hand, you've got problems with integration of this type, just have a look at our tutorial on this and uh, hopefully we'll explain similar examples. OK, welcome back if you've had a go and uh, let's just see how you got on. OK, so what's this integral equal to? Well, let's just put down equals. Now when I look at this, I notice that the last term is a little awkward. It's not got the x to the, at the top, so I'm going to use indices, the laws of indices, to rewrite 4 over x squared. OK, so let's first of all, though, uh, just start by writing the integral back down again from 1 to 2. And then the first term, let's just leave it there, 3x squared, and the same with the second term, plus 5. Now we reach this third term, 4 over x squared. And we must think of this as 4 times 1 over x squared. And 1 over x squared is x to the minus 2. So this becomes 4x to the minus 2. So I'm going to write that in as 4x to the power minus 2. And dx. Don't forget brackets. There's more than one term here. So brackets around all of those three. OK, equals. Now we should be in a position to integrate each one of the th three terms. So integrating the first term, just simply add 1 to the power. So that's going to be 3x to the power 3. And then we divide by the new power. So that's over 3. Then the integral of plus 5, 5 being just a constant, gives us 5x, so that's plus 5x. And when we come on to the third term here, plus 4, add 1 to the power, x to the power minus 1, be careful there, very easy to say minus 3, add 1 to the power, then x to the minus 1, and then divide by the new power, minus 1. We don't need a constant because we've got limits here, so let's just put this in square brackets, like so. OK, and they go between 1 and 2. OK, equals again underneath. Before I substitute the limits in, I always think it's a good idea to clean up each of the terms. So the first term, the two threes cancel, so that's just going to leave me with x cubed. 5x is fine as it is. And then the last term, a little bit more complicated, plus 4 divided by minus 1, that's going to be negative 4, so that's negative 4. And then it's being multiplied by x to the power minus 1. x to the minus 1 is 1 over x. And 4 times 1 over x is going to be 4 over x. So we'll just put that as 4 over x. Then we want our square brackets in. So we'll mark in our square brackets. It's that one. And one here. OK, so it's that. Between 1 and 2. And then we just need to substitute for 2. So 2 goes in first, 2 cubed. So I'll put that as 2 cubed. And then we have 5 times 2, so plus 5 times 2. And then minus 4 over 2, minus 4 over 2. And that's that one. Minus and then we put the 1 through. So we have 1 cubed, and then 5 times 1, 
and then minus 4 divided by 1. OK, so tidying that up. Again, you might like to do this all in one go on the calculator. I'm just slowing the pace down, though, just so you can see all the individual steps. So 2 cubed is 8, plus 5 2 is a 10, and 4 divided by 2 is 2, so that's minus 2 there. And it goes in brackets, and then we have minus 1 cubed is 1, 5 times 1 is 5, and minus 4 divided by 1 is minus 4. So that's going to give us, in the first bracket, 16. And then in the second bracket, we have 2. So that's now minus 2. And 16 minus 2, that is 14. OK, so hope you got that one right. And if you did, you can award yourself 5 marks.